Good morning. We're up early today because Jazz and I are getting our hair done. We're going to the hairdressers and the appointment is quite early. I'm nervous because I've got curly hair and I'm going to a hairdresser that doesn't quite specialize in curls, but they do curly hair. It's like, you know, a universal one. I haven't been to one of these hairdressers in a long time, but Jazz and I are quite lucky that we got offered to trial out this hairdresser for free. I can't believe it. I could not say no. Like, are you kidding? I can't stop yawning. It's the, it's only 7.36 a.m. The sun is blasting through, so the lighting is really bad where I do my makeup. That's a little bit better. But yeah, it's actually a really popular hairdresser. They're called Edwards & Co. Have you heard of it? It's in Brisbane, of course, in Fortitude Valley. Actually, no, they're in different areas, not just Fortitude Valley. This is what I'm thinking of doing to my hair. So this is what my hair looks like. I haven't been to the hairdressers in like it's probably been less than a year, but usually I leave it for a year. So it's got a lot of the natural color coming through. My natural color is quite dark. And then I've had foils in the past. I always do that for the summertime because I just like lighter hair in the summer. Um, but those blonde bits are really like, they're pretty much gone. And I only got them like kind of at the top. But what I'm thinking of doing, I was going through Pinterest and seeing what I like. And I always stopped on a girl's hair where the color was basically all the same. Brown, I'm looking at brown. I'm not gonna go dress like blonde or anything. I'll put the photos that I found on Pinterest up here. This is what I'm looking at. This is when we're showing them. I've decided I'm not going to walk out of the hairdressers with curly hair. I've decided I'm going to ask for like a blow wave. So that's what I'm going to ask for. An even colour. I don't know what they're going to do. Jazz and I are also going to Sydney tomorrow for a Stax event. I know, crazy. Anyways, that's what's happening. I'm going to get ready. I'll see you when my makeup's done. I woke up kind of nervous today because I think I'm doing something major with my hair. I don't know if I'm actually going to go through with it, but I am thinking of going much lighter, which I told you last week. By the way, welcome back to a new vlog. As you can see, my natural color is really dark, but I want to go lighter, like more of like a caramel. I have some pictures here that I'm like going to show the hairdresser. I don't want a blonde blonde, but I would like it more of a caramel brown color. I'm looking really glowy today. It's because of this. This stuff is really good. Flawless glow. I'm just doing my makeup right now and I just wanted to share with you this product. I used it for the first time yesterday and it's the best product like I've literally ever used. It's so good. It's the Glowgasm Beauty Wand. I'm obsessed. Thought I'd share that with you. I'm just currently filming a Get Ready With Me and I have my phone. This is my little setup for my Get Ready With Me's. I'm also easily influenced in the hairdressers. Like if the hairdresser recommends something, I might go with that. Like I might walk out with a completely different hairstyle. We'll see. This is the outfit. I like wearing something really comfy at the hairdressers because like you're literally just sitting down and like you just want something cozy. ready got my full bottle of water coffee i have two muesli bars because you know how it is at the hairdressers we could be there for four hours and we'll get hungry also got my airpods make sure you got your earphones i do yep the security camera to pop here Renee and I have always been a bit nervous when it comes to changing our hair, which is a surprise because we are Sagittarius and apparently Saggies love change, which is true, but not when it comes to hair. Anyway, this is the most beautiful salon we've ever been to. It's called Edwards & Co and it's in James Street in Brisbane. Something I really like about this hairdresser is that they have a separate room in the salon. I'm pretty sure it's called a consultation room where the hairdresser comes and sees you and you talk about what you want done to your hair and you show pictures, which I think is really important to do so you don't end up having a bad experience at the hairdressers. Okay, I was fully planning on dyeing my hair blonde or a light brown color. This is jazz by the way um, but the hairdresser reminded me about regrowth and how my hair is quite dark which means it'll be quite contrasty so I decided not to do that however Renee is actually dyeing her hair dark brown which looks amazing on her and it's also really nice to finally have different hair to each other because we always get the same thing anyway we are so impressed with the whole experience of this hairdresser it was honestly a 10 out of 10 the hairdressers that did our hair are so lovely and they made us feel really happy about our hair it's weird because most hairdressers I've been to make me feel like I'm a nuisance because my hair is curly but this did not happen here by the way if you are a curly girl Edwards & Co do have a curly hair specialist however you have to request them before booking but we are so happy with our hair it turned out amazing and we can't wait to see what it looks like with the curls back jazz and i are so happy with our hair i can't stop looking at myself in the mirror oh my it looks like i don't recognize myself i can't believe it like this is insane i'm just making a salad because we're in our health era trying to eat more vegetables How exciting, we're going to Sydney tomorrow with our sister-in-law. I was trying to think of like how I should have my hair. Like I was thinking of keeping my hair like this for the event tomorrow, but 
my hair's curly and so when it's blow waved if you can see that it can get like a little bit frizzy so the back kind of or it's already frizzing up and i know that it's not going to stay like this tomorrow i feel like i do look better with my natural curls this is my natural hair so i'm thinking i might have this hair tomorrow till i go to the hotel and then maybe if it's looking really bad i'm going to bring my diffuser and just diffuse my hair do the whole natural curl tomorrow so I'm just about to make the salad dressing and Jazz and I found the best salad dressing. I'm going to share it with you. First of all, olive oil. I don't measure the olive oil. I just glug it in. So I'm making sauce for two salads. So I'm obviously going to do a little bit more. Next ingredient is this sumac powder. It's like a crushed berry or something. I just, we just got this from Woolies and I just, I don't measure that. And I just throw it in like this. Oh, that was too much, but that's okay. Next, tahini. So I'll put about two teaspoons in. I'm doing two. I then put in some maple syrup. Last ingredient is a squeeze of lemon juice. And that is a healthy salad dressing. So delicious. Big bowl of healthy salad for lunch. There you Thank go. Thank you so much. This is the outfit that I'm wearing for the Stacks event tomorrow. I bought an outfit from Beckham Bridge, not just for the Stacks event, it's just I don't really have that many nice going out black outfits and it is all black themed, this event that we're going to tomorrow. Anyway, I bought this like two weeks ago and it's still sitting in the bag. So I'm just going to pack it just like this. Pop it in there like that. That's my outfit. I'm just trying to think of what bra I should wear with it. Probably no bra. Well, they're just little stick on fillet things. Shoes with the outfit, I'm gonna wear little heels. Oh, baby. These are the shoes that I'm gonna wear to the Stacks event tomorrow. The only black heels that I literally own. Oh, I wish I could pack you. I'll put you in a shoe coat and I'll pack you. You wanna come with? I'm gonna miss you so much. But I will see you on Friday, okay? I will see you on Friday. Uh, 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 uh. This is ridiculous. I literally have three black blazers. Where are my heels? I really hope that I can get a pedicure before the event. I don't know, apparently it's weird to show you dogs, but I'm just going to show you my dogs because look how bad that looks. Like some bits are white. I swear I always go to events with really bad toenails and then I get insecure off my feet and I try and hide. It's so awkward. So I really hope that I can get a pedi tomorrow. Okay, half an hour later. I'm finished. I think I've got everything I need. I've got some curling stuff because my hair's starting to like frizz up a little bit. So I might just run the curling one over it. I also have hairspray, which I am checking this one in. So this should be all good. These dogs are actually so high maintenance. Like they need cuddles 24 seven. Like they literally need a paw on you at all times. Otherwise they get anxious. But anyway, we're really grateful because our brother is looking after them while we're gone. He does live an hour away. So we did stay for dinner and also we wanted more cuddles with Violet as well. Anyway, in regards to Renee's little boy, Harry, we think it's best for him to stay in the comfort of his home and to avoid traveling. The only reason we can do this is because we have a beautiful neighbor who we trust to check on him and feed him. And we also have a security camera to keep an eye on things. And you can actually talk through the security camera you can be like hey Harry, are you okay and he literally like actually feels like he likes it i think Six thirty-eight. it's 6 38 i'm just about to do my makeup and i'm gonna pack my makeup as i do my makeup i think fuck for coffee that's all i want to say oh, come on. anyway i'm really excited for today my favorite part is that Georgia is coming. I'm actually so happy that she's coming and she is so excited. This is like her favorite brand. When we told her, she almost cried. We're like, we got a plus one ticket. She's like, no, you don't. I'm like, yeah, I do. I'm so excited. It's just gonna be us three girls. Georgia wasn't gonna go because of Violet. She had to talk to her psychi psychologist and her doctor just to like make her feel better about going and they were both like no this is actually really good for you and you know ben is looking after violet for one night it's less than 24 hours because we're literally going early tomorrow tomorrow morning coming back home renee me and georgia are all filming a get ready with me on tiktok right now which is kind of funny um, also georgia is starting to post more on social media and i'm actually so happy about it like honestly she rings us and she's like girls i've got so much um, content ideas like we should go all film together like she's loving it um, but now she's understanding how overwhelming it can be just like to upload regularly and think of ideas 
and then also like you know having to deal with a few hate comments because like everyone gets it if you're gonna post online but it's actually fucked like there should be no hate in this world like it makes me so mad but she's also trying to grow her instagram um instagram's really hard to grow so for the airport fit i've got these jeans which i literally wore yesterday um i also have this top which i got from the op shop looks like this it's a strapless thing which i never wear anything like this but it's actually really really flattering it was like five bucks <laughs> so cute i don't know how i feel about this like flappy thing that's just like i think it's all right oh i've got this like big pimple on my chest right there <laughs> Okay, this was a very interesting airport experience. So when we got there, it was very busy. So we upgraded our tickets to priority, which we've never done before, but basically means you skip the lines and you get to sit at the front of the plane. Anyway, we somehow got these for free because the lady was in a good mood, not sure. And then they started boarding our plane 40 minutes early. So we were like running on with a coffee and banana bread. Okay, we literally can't believe this is our life. When we rocked up to the hotel, our luggage was delivered to our room straight away. We had a butler show us around. We also had complimentary drinks and then we were taken to a gifting suite, which had jewelry from a beautiful brand called Emma Pills and of course Stacks. So this event is actually about the launch of Stacks' new collection called Second Left, which we'll show you tonight. This was such a cool experience. Like we literally felt famous when we got to our rooms. They had a newspaper on the bed and the newspaper had our faces on it. And then they also had a huge box, which has some pieces from the new collection and I can't wait to show you them. But anyway, all of this would not be happening if it wasn't for you guys. So thank you so much for making this come true. Like we literally would not be living this life if it wasn't for you guys. So we love you. That's so cool. So you get some of the um, pieces from Second Left. Oh wow, that's, that's nice. really nice. Oh, that's a nice color. Yeah. Yeah, I love that. So right now we're having a bit of a hair moment. We don't know what to do with our hair. As you can see, Renee has jumped in the shower. Yeah. Did you put your spiral issues in? Not yet, I'm going to, but I'm naked. Yeah. And, um, oh, we went and got a pedicure. We found a pedicure place. Thank God. I know, right? Can you imagine? And they took ages too. They did. I was like, ah, oh, just a quick pedicure, quick, gotta do my hair. I might Take be doing else. my hair too, like, do you see that frizz? Look at that. All right, I'm just about to diffuse my hair. Spend probably an hour diffusing it. I need to take that makeup off. I'm redoing my makeup. So I just wiped off the makeup that I wore on the plane. Um, Can I see my hair? Oh, charge your phone. I've literally got red. <gasps> True. So this is how the hair's looking. What do you think? My hair actually feels really soft after yesterday. Normally my hair feels like real crunchy, but it feels really, really soft. I'm really sorry. We didn't vlog getting ready. We did film TikTok. So if you saw that, you know the vibes. Let me show you our outfits. The lighting's really bad now, room, so you won't be able to see our outfit properly. But these are the looks. My curly hair, all natural with the new color. All right, so this is the outfit. I'm wearing Beck and Bridge. It's a set. This is the most expensive outfit that I own. I'm wearing it for a little special occasion. Hopefully it's not cold because I don't have a jacket. <laughs> this is me. Uh, right. Jasmine's doing a poo because she's a little nervous. Is That's fine. Oh, you also at the gifting suite. They had Emma Pills. I've actually never heard of this jewelry brand. Emma Pills, and it's a jewelry brand. And they come in, they're packaged in like these pill containers. So I got some earrings. These are the earrings that I chose. They're so nice. They go so well with the outfit. This is the outfit. It's all Princess Polly. Oh, wow. I'm just having trouble with the back because I'm trying to hide my bra. Oh, yeah. She got a little brown bra. You no, can't no, actually see it. Because I kind of like, like, need it. Yeah, you like, really can't see it, honestly. So I'm going to try to maybe tape it. How'd mm -hmm. you get this? How'd you break it? Just with my teeth, like scissors. You just rip it. So awkward. We were taking photos in the lift and then Jack Cooper comes in and spots us taking selfies. Orkies. This is one of the biggest social media events that we've ever been to. We went outside and there's literal vans waiting to pick us up and take us to the event. Stacks go all out. So we get there. There's a red carpet. I was a little bit nervous. Everyone's lining up. I'm like, what's through the doors? So before you go in, you get your photo taken. I'll be honest. I always feel so awkward in these professional photos. Like my lips literally shake. I wasn't expecting to see so much talent at this event. We got to see like a few little acts before actually seeing the runway show of the season two second left pieces. First of all, there was tap dancing. And then we got to watch this dance off of really talented dancers. This was so cool. This is my favorite. This was a beatboxer that was like making these crazy sounds from his mouth. And then the runway show started. This is actually our first ever runway show that we've ever been to. This was an experience. I loved it so much. Loved the music. I loved watching the modeling. There were so many nice pieces that I really wanted. Also, just a quick thank you to Matilda and Dom, the owners of Stacks, for inviting us to this event. This was such a cool experience. So excited for the launch of the Second Left season two. We are back from the event. It's very late and we have to get up really early tomorrow. We have to get up at like five o'clock. 4.30. 4.30. And it's 11.04 right now. 
yeah we so four and a half hours sleep we need to hurry up and go to sleep because we, we, have, we have a lot of work to do tomorrow the hotel is a disaster like there's stuff everywhere that we have to quickly tidy up i haven't even opened up my second left box that i got the box that i haven't even opened it i think we got different stuff we did we got different stuff i got cream, oh, I got cream. Wow. wow the cream looks like ice cream oh it looks like butter and it Whoa. feels like butter this is insane well look you got a shirt how cute and they got my size how do they know my size small look you got a shirt oh they know about my back knee oh i got me a shirt for a gym for a little gym gym fit that's Ooh, I really love nice. that. this is a part of their new collection second left that's what the event was about tonight the tights look so skinny like how's that gonna fit me but they are stretchy we got a bottle of free whiskey from the spice trader okay if you're in sydney and you're looking for a hotel i haven't looked up the prices of this hotel but it is Beautiful. literally perfect they have this like bar called spice trader yeah and it's just it's so nice it's called porterhouse hotel we forgot about the leftover caramel slice that we bought today it's just really rich like yeah mm. Is that your necklace? Oh, Georgia, your necklace. It's the next day and we have Georgia and Violet. They slept over last night and Ben did as well, but he had to go to work early this morning. But we have, we have a little day out. We're actually seeing um, another Georgia. <laughs> if you guys watched a previous vlog, in that vlog we went to lunch with Georgia to surprise her for her birthday and we're seeing her today, which yeah. is really cool. She's she was meeting Violet. Yeah, she's just meeting little Violet. Just quickly, if you didn't watch that vlog where we met Georgia for the first time, she followed us, like she was a follower and she gifted us a really nice gift. And like, that's how we kind of met Georgia. Like her family reached out to us to oh. like, cause they wanted us to surprise Ooh. her for her birthday. So we said, you're right little lady. So he surprised <laughs> Georgia for her birthday. Like that's how we met her. And she's actually got her own channel uh, on TikTok. We'll give her a little shout out. Like she, we love her content. She does get ready with me on TikTok. Yeah. yeah. She's like the sweetest person in the world. And yeah. like, she's so confident. Yeah. Like I wish I had her confidence. So Georgia's literally just about to get here in like less than half an hour. But before she gets here, we're going to open a little parcel. This is the box. Like look at all those little stickers on there. Oh, it's a small business. My name is Alana. I own a small business in Sydney. We do candles, wax melts, room sprays, and so much more. We love your TikToks. We are big fans. Fans. We have gifted you some goodies that we feel will go with your retro vibe. Hope you enjoy. We also have discount code for your friends, family, and followers. Hogan15 for 15% off. That's amazing. Such a small little business. We absolutely love supporting small businesses. These are car diffusers and they have a little flower on the bottle. That's so pretty. Oh, wow. a big candle. Oh That's amazing. That is so pretty. Oh, I love that smell. smell. Here, is that watermelon? It's like fresh. Oh wow, it is. It's like linen. Look at the ocean mist. Yeah, oh, I think. Yeah. Look at this packaging. That is so totally our vibe. I think this is watermelon. I think it is. Oh, I can smell watermelon. Yeah, this might be. Oh it. my goodness, that's so pretty. Yeah, it's watermelon. <laughs> oh, there's the leaves. That's so cute. Oh, that's so cute. Pineapple candles. I think it's like a room spray. Room spray. Mmm, got nice. Mmm, that's vanilla -y. That's caramelly. Wow. Namaste. Because namaste, we did that in karate where we mm. would enter the room and we're like, namaste. That's watermelon, surely. I can smell watermelon from that. Okay. Yeah. A little bit, hey. Makes me feel like a cocktail when I smell that. Yeah. Namaste. Thank you so much if you're watching this. We're so grateful. I can't wait to put this around the living room. Okay, Georgia really spoiled us. We feel like the luckiest girls to have such a beautiful friend and so crazy because we wouldn't have met her if it wasn't for our social media platforms, which I think is so cool. Anyway, Georgia is the sweetest. She put together two huge hampers for us as housewarming gifts. Anyway, I know you're watching this, Georgia, so thank you so much. We love you. <sighs> I'm so tired. <sighs> Good morning. Happy Sunday. It's 9 a.m. Just woken up slept in we went to bed at 1 20 a.m last night because we were watching the avengers we've had georgia and ben over for two nights and each night we've watched the last couple of the avengers because jazz and i haven't seen it it's so freaking good quite depressing um georgia and ben are still here they're just out in the lounge room i'm just in my room the door's shut just about to go out there and say good morning make a coffee but they're coming today yesterday was really nice with georgia oh, we get along with georgia so well we literally spent the whole day at our apartment just talking like you know when you just like meet someone that you get along so well and you just can't stop talking about random things oh and we went to the markets we didn't vlog any of this <laughs> i feel really bad and we got like this big like potato 
twirly thing. Went to the lolly shop. Oh, and then we ordered KFC when we got back. It was actually a really nice day. You want some breakfast? Also, look how messy my room is. Just munching on some chocolate. Where's more? I already ate the last two. Uh, <laughs> it was hazelnut, if you want. Many hours later, it's now night time. We just had dinner and just had dessert. We didn't vlog today because we we're basically on the lounge editing our YouTube videos. But finally having a little break, just watched a little bit of YouTube. Right now we have Georgia Richards on the TV. It's so cool. Um, when we lived with our parents, we couldn't do this because they only had one TV and I didn't oh, want to watch YouTube on the TV and then walking past going, what are you watching? And yeah, they like, judge I don't want to explain you. myself because they like, yeah, you got judged in a way. Yeah. But now we can just sit and watch. That's actually one of my favorite things about living uh, in an apartment. I still look around and go, what the actual, I can't believe I'm here. I can't believe we move out. Like it's, I'm literally grateful every single but day I'm trying to be present every yeah, day same. and just like soak it in. We went to the markets yesterday and we actually bought a couple of things and we just wanted to quickly show you what we got. Yep. We want to go to the markets a little bit more often because it's really a nice way of supporting small businesses. It's just like when you buy something from the markets, the shopkeeper, you can just feel their gratitude. I'm like, thank you so much. I'm going to show you my favorite thing that we bought at the market yesterday. I actually can't believe it. I could cry looking at it. Okay. Oh, uh, coasters. We got some coasters. Oi, these were the last three Michael Jacksons. I felt kind of bad. I was like, I'm having all of those Michael Jacksons. It smells like glue or something. Yeah, we would have had four Michaels, but um, there's only three left. So we okay. obviously have to have Harry. And this photo of Harry Styles, so hot. I'm excited about this. The next store we went to is called Sesh Ready Melts. This is a small business. And I'm pretty sure you can purchase these candles and melts online. online. My favorite smell. The scent is lavender. <gasps> and look at the sparkles on the top. So pretty. And I love the wick. Oh, it's a wood it's one. A wood so one. it might like um, crackle, maybe. Oh, I love it. Give it a smell. Oh, it smells so oh, good. Wow, it's not just lavender, it's something else. I love this. I literally put perfume. I would. <laughs> and then the last thing that we got, well, I got, I don't know if Renee got any of this, but it is a jewelry brand called Maria K. And it's a small jewelry business in Brisbane. So I was looking for some earrings that wouldn't tarnish that I can put in my seconds because this one's actually from La Vista and they just go green. So I was looking for like a good quality pair of earrings and I found some. I actually don't know what you got. The little hoops. They're little hoops. High quality jewelry design and handmade in Brisbane, Australia. We're gonna end this vlog here. Thank you so much for watching. And if you like this video, we, we actually don't say this enough, but yeah, it really supports our channel when you press the like button. Thank you so much for doing I that I always too. forget to press the like button when I watch videos. Thank you for watching. Bye. Bye.